are live on your Thursday night. Bring you LHL hockey here on the Independent Broadcast Network. It is week five of season 17 of this venerable and classic league. And we should have some venerable and classic games to show to you tonight. We hope. We've had uh, postponements a lot. I guess Thursday night's pretty tough for uh, the college-age cats and stuff. But hopefully we've got six big teams and three three big games to bring you. As they're just kind of getting warmed up now. Big uh, issues this week. Uh, the main servers that they use for the, for the league games have been especially uh, laggy. And so it has caused some consternation. And now even on the other service that they're trying, they are experiencing some issues. So we'll see where they end up playing. I think they're going to eschew the, the regular servers entirely. So we're on a completely different server. So we'll see. We'll keep an eye here. Hopefully they will tell us. But wherever it's at, we are here to bring you the action right here on the Independent Broadcast Network. I am Winners with the One. I'm here with Thayla. Whatever action there is, we're on it. You know how we do, fam. So looking at the schedule tonight, we see uh, St. Louis versus Washington to start things off. And followed by Anaheim and Atlanta. And... Finishing it out with Kansas City versus Edmonton. Okay. All right. So they're going to be on DTMB. Okay. So they are going to another server. Okay. So we will find that for you. And found it. Boy, oh boy. Just in time for the game to start. Don't miss the lick here. Okay. So we'll give you the rundown on the lineups. It's going to be Washington. They are in blue, and they are wearing tags. Thanks, fellas. It is Juice, Doucette, Rezzy, Kiwi, and Kayasato. And for, who's the other team? St. Louis? Yeah. Uh, Mark Sheffley, Dildozer, Doug, Nargila, and Crab in a Tree. So as long as at least one team. Oh, 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 oh what a save by Nargila to kick things off and yeah they've had a tough season so far but you know we've seen them drop a few games but Nargila has been very strong in the net through no fault of his own but St. Louis will be looking to rebound tonight and possibly take a victory over this Washington team that looks really good on paper so this is a pretty good matchup that we're seeing in our first game of the night Trying to see a little bit of distance uh, come in between your top of the league guys and your, your middle of the pack. And then uh, I think Edmonton is still in single digits as far as points go in the standings. So we'll see them tonight. They'll be looking to get a W and maybe switch things around a bit for their team's fortunes. But one game at a time, right? And we're looking at a 0-0 game currently. As we're just a couple of minutes into the first period. Already a couple of good attempts. But nothing hitting home just yet. But that could change very quickly as KS Auto has the puck. Nice dish across. But Rezzy's going to get to it in the corner. They can't set a play there. Tries to get it in the middle. St. Louis defense there to take that attempt away. Now coming back in the other direction. Good chance here on the backhand! And the save made as Doucette was there on the corner. Looked like it might have got a piece of the post, but Doucette there anyway to anchor that post. And now just trying to flip one through the middle. Just a little bit extra on that one. Here's one! Oh! And <laughs> just hard to, when it's coming in that quickly, divert it properly to get to go in the net. But some some good looks there. And that's what they're going to have to do all game against this Washington team, because here they come back again. The shot attempt blocked, and that's going to lead to St. Louis pushing through. They hold on to it at center ice briefly. Now Juice has it for Washington. 
Immediately find KS Auto towards the middle. Now back to Kiwi. Put it in play Resi. Neutral zone struggle. Send this around. Here is Juice again. And he will begin play. From the back, KS Auto now picking it up. Across the blue line being guarded very closely and he will try to just weasel one up on the boards and over. They are staying with KS Auto. It is no secret that he is a goal scorer. So they would like to prevent him from you know, scoring the goals. So as we head down to the one minute mark and about one minute and a half or so, be semi-exact. Still nothing has gotten through these goalies. Oh, but almost. As Nargila gets the rub of the post. And now here comes Dildozer. He's got some momentum. And he's going to take the shot and score! He will get the assist from Nargila. But that is just Dildozer with the wicked backhand. And we say this a lot. You know, you don't have body collision with the goalies. So sometimes the best shot is to non-intuitively just put it right at their chest. You know, if you do that in hockey, you can do that all day, and they'll just, you know, swallow it up. But here they've got to get that stick, or more importantly, the blade of the stick, right up there in that chest area. And sometimes that is hard to do, especially with a rising puck like that. And so one to nothing is your score. How about that? Superlative. Mm -hmm. Incredible is the word that comes to mind. <laughs> well, it's incredible and superlative, yeah, because it's the only goal we have so far in this first period. But again, I, I do not expect this to be a one nothing game. Not with these teams, not with these forwards that each have. And sending across another chance. Does not go. And so crabbing a tree here to pick this up. Five seconds. Will he have time? He'll just go ahead and launch one in. It does get blocked on the way, and that will do it for the first period of a good game. We're glad you are here tonight with us to experience it. It's always an experience, I guess. <laughs> no, this is a lot of fun. It is hockey question mark. And every week, we see new shit that we've never seen before from these players. And always a thrill. It, this is a game that is made by Cryptic C. The official website is hockeyquestionmark.com. You can read that stuff at the bottom of the screen there. You've got the subreddit, r slash hockey question mark, which is sort of the, the heartbeat of the game, especially in North America. That's where the leagues are organized, and the drama is had. You can't have leagues without drama, I guess, I suppose. Seems to be <laughs> how things are. But it's just, you know, can you deal with the drama? And for the most part, everybody's been able to, and the, and the league has grown. So very, very proud of the North American hockey community. And... We're going to be doing more community stuff for Cryptic C coming up soon. I don't know if I can announce anything yet or not, but it sounds like it's a, it's a thing. So but we'll, uh, I don't know. Good news for your old boy winners of the one anyway. So hopefully I can share more detail with you very, very soon. Because there's been not much good news to speak about here on the home front lately. But all personal bullshit aside, we are in the second period, and St. Louis is clinging to that one nothing lead that they've got over Washington. It has been a close game. We expected these two to these two teams to play a close game, and so they're living up to our expectations. Now, Doug with the puck, he's got options as the whole team moves forward. Grab and Mark down low. We'll work the two-man game. Doug coming up to pick up the pieces at the point. The shot and score from a tough angle. Doug. He dug deep. Made quite a shot. 
Just outside the corner. What a play. Wow. Yes, indeed. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Ayla's like Johnny two times tonight. Get the papers, get the papers. But it just adds to the excitement, right? When you've got twice as much to say about the proceedings that we were seeing in front of us. I, I'm uh, just trying to hang on with, with once enough to say. But it's been a good one and a couple of good goals those have made the difference well it's up to washington to try to flip things around and the first thing you're gonna have to do is get, get this other zone resi now but dildozer i'm going to try to intercept this ks auto being double teamed smashed up in the against the boards they are keeping a close watch on him that is that's what teams have been doing a lot more this season. And so I don't know if uh, I haven't looked at the numbers, but just uh, week to week on Thursday nights, it, it has seemed like they've really been keeping KS Auto from going on the massive scoring streaks that we are accustomed to seeing him do. I mean, he merely gets one or two goals instead of five or six. Yeah, so that's, that's defense. And a lot of the game comes down to defense. But here's a chance. Oh, stuffed! Nargila! A huge point-blank save. And that's the kind of stuff that, that is keeping his team in games. But, yeah, still got to close the deal. And here's a chance for Juice under a minute. Try to send this down. But Dildozer there. To pick up the puck now over to Crab in a Tree. Here comes KS Auto. Crab will go ahead and get it in. And a bouncing puck gets loose. Oh now, KS Auto. But stolen! Mark with the shot! Do set with the save! Oh, oh, so with 22 seconds, we'll go for the wraparound here. And staying with it is do set. Just. Holds that stick right in front all the way through the shooting motion. And a nice play there on the back check. Oh, and a chance here. Does not go. Looks like it got deflected in an unfortunate way. And so that will end our second period. Two to nothing. St. Louis tacks on another. That leads us inevitably to the third period. Shout out to Waldo. See, Waldo's in the building. It's, a, it's not a LHL Thursday night unless Waldo's in the building. And to the millions of people watching around the world and witnessing the spectacle of esports that you're seeing right here. Oh, a chance with a chip shot and Dildozer! It does cross the line! It took it a second, but that counts. And so that's two for Dildozer and three for St. Louis. Washington. Having to dig further out of a hole as they are down by three at the beginning of this third period. So will the comeback begin? Oh, a dangerously bouncing one there. But Nargila able to handle it and also handle the, the crashing of the net that occurred afterwards. So good stuff there. That's that's where a goalie really shines is in the third period when you got the lead and you just try and hold on to it. You don't want to be the person that lets down. You know, you, you want to be sure that you've got everything covered and that's when you really see impressive goalies step up even further. He's gonna have to step up here as they're putting the pressure on this Washington team. Stolen, however, crabbing a tree. The pass blocked, and KS Auto is going to get it back. And so he will peel off here as it is regained. This is Mark sending it up. Do set, sending it out. KS Auto waiting, and they're waiting for him too. 
as this one kind of picked off the blade. Three minutes now. The clock becomes very important for this Washington team. Got to like the performance we've seen from St. Louis so far. Mixing up these shots, and oh, and set will sweep this one aside. That shot took a dangerous bounce. Now another coming in, possibly no. But Mark will get it back. Now over to oh, that that went on, but did not go. Here's another chance. It is blocked in front. Now crabbing a tree, circling. Shoveling one through in traffic. Oh, they will try from the other side. Nothing doing. Here comes Doug out of nowhere to send one over the crossbar. But KS Auto, they're pushing up, so this gives him a little bit of room to work. He's trying to get past their entire team now, and the entire team prevails at least briefly. Now he just reaches back there and grabs it again. It's great individual effort. But St. Louis starting to circle up. And a shot by Kiwi will go wide. They are keeping on, just drilling it at the net. Do set up to the challenge so far. These attempts here late in the third. Yeah, they've got to start moving it in the other direction. Here is Rezzy. Is attempting to do just that. Now, picked up possibly. No, coming out is Nargila. He will fire this into the opposite end. Now, Juice picking up Mark on the steal. Looking for it underneath him, and they poke check it away. Now, here's Crab in a tree, though. He will pick this up, and a blocked attempt will fly up into the glass. Finally settling down here is Rezzy, and they are going to have to move quickly. One minute left in regulation. Now Juice and Kiwi are coming back for it. They'll look for Rezzy. Doug there to pick this off, and he will just send it in the direction of the net as it gets carried around the corners. KS Auto back again. We'll work his way through a couple of people and then get it down to Rezzy. And I'll probably try to set something up in front. And he would have to catch up with the puck, and you say, oh, a nice play there to take that off the wall. But here's a chance. The shot blocked. The rebound blocked. Nargila. Ho, ho, ho. An incredible save once again. He's got plenty for his highlight reel this evening. <laughs> a little bit of... Uh, protestation from the little owl there. <laughs> oh, but yeah, a, a solid performance in net by Nargila. And a great performance by Dildozer and Crab and, and the St. Louis team to take a 3 nothing victory over a Washington team that yeah, that's, despite their solid roster, they just really couldn't get much going in this game tonight. Now that's hockey. I've seen enough of it here to, to know that's how it is. So a couple of games now. Here on the lineup, we are looking at Anaheim versus Atlanta. The next one. And we'll see if that is played here or not. A little concerning that it is time for the game however we are not seeing any of the players but yeah there has been some issue uh, this week with with lag and it, it really affects the game at the professional level that these guys play at you know, if you're just goofing around you're not going to notice as much but you know when you're Counting on pinpoint passing and stuff. Really need. That was some good ping. Good latency. Yeah, so hopefully that gets sorted out. I mean, it's funny. Uh, you know, they're saying it was just on the Collect Source servers, but we were watching them earlier. 
in the other server for just uh, still a few hiccups. So, hmm. I'll tell you what, I'm going to look around and see if we can find this game. Because you just never know. Oh, never mind. Here they are. As Quacky Face, Dial, Taser, we see them all coming in. This will be Anaheim, Atlanta. We assume. <laughs> but yeah, lots of stuff coming up. Uh, we, we didn't get to do a uh, Weeb Weekend last weekend, so we're doing it this weekend. Oh, I hope you'll join us. Yeah, follow us on IBN Casting on Twitter. Of course, uh, you follow us here on the IBN Twitch channel. We'll let you know when we go on. Let's see. Tomorrow's Friday, right? Are we go on Friday? Either late night Friday or come Saturday. I'm looking at the game, though. It's really cool. And we're going to keep weaving it up because uh, Beach Beach Splash comes out next Tuesday. And that's uh, the, the Titty Ninjas uh, shooting each other with water guns. It should be a, a high quality gaming experience. I you to share it with us here on IBN. Ayla and I. Play stuff that is not hockey. Or maybe even stuff that is hockey. Got a couple of uh, new kind of arcadey hockey games we've been goofing around with that are, that are not bad. There's one called Super Blood Hockey. I don't think we've talked about it before. It's very much like the the old NES ice hockey where you had, you know, you could pick the fat guy or the skinny guy or the medium guy for, for your four dudes. and uh, Except with just copious amounts of blood. And in fact, you can turn the blood up. So, so they get knocked down and, and bleed everywhere, and it's uh, yeah, it, it's not a simulation by any stretch of the imagination. But it's pretty cool, Super Blood Hockey. Yeah, maybe we'll play some of that too. Plan on playing that tonight if uh, if nobody showed up. <laughs> but by golly, here they are. Maybe as wait, are. are, are uh, is Anaheim uh, missing a play? No. Somebody's missing a player. Perhaps. I don't know. It, it, it's hard to tell. When you start uh, reading all this stuff. But we'll go ahead and give you some of the lineups here. Okay. Why don't we do that? Yes. For Anaheim in red. We will see Quacky Face, Deloriax, Tony Flo, and wow, Monster Eats Image. And for Atlanta, it is Capital Skis, Jabba, Legendary Trev, Dick McButts, and BGP. And here comes Dal Fan to round out the lineup. So we do have 5v5. Everything's cool. Everybody just get in your seats and, and let's let's watch this game. Well, hell, you can get up out of your seat. You know. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you will only need the edge. <laughs> uh, the legendary caster Boomer Man used to say that one all the time. I, I love uh, stealing that occasionally. We're definitely hanging on the edge of our seats here for this one as the chance comes up. Two on two, uh, uh, even man break, I suppose. Uh, nothing coming out of that, but maybe this rebound attempt does. And BGP will take the pass from Dick McButts and put the biscuit in the basket to make it one to nothing. As Atlanta has gained the lead in the first minute of this game. Now trying to come back quickly out to Loriax with two people on him. 
Just see him get that one step, that one step in front of him. And just squeeze it off. Right there. In front of the net. That is high quality shit, fam. And so from both these teams. One to one already. A minute in to this game. In the net, it is going to be a Capital Skis versus Dalfan battle. It's been interesting to watch Dalfan in the net. I mean, this is a guy, we, we've seen him play everything. Offense, defense, goal. And Gloriax, another! We were talking about those tough angles. Man, he was almost uh, just even with the, the net, even with the goal post. Still manages to sink that one. And Anaheim will take the lead for the first time in this game. Wow. These teams came to play. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we're glad they did. I'm always happy when some teams come to play. <laughs> oh, you know how it is, Ayla. Yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, we show up here. And... I don't know. I, I think uh, that was just some early season kind of just organization things. But we're, we're going to start seeing more scheduled games being played here on Thursday night and maybe even a few extras. Now we're starting to get into the more serious part of the season, which will end at the end of this month so you know march is uh is pretty much when things get decided for the lhl and so the month of march is a tough campaign for all these teams nobody's mathematically out of it yet but you don't want to start falling too far behind <laughs> They're just lining up and, and taking shots over here. It's just target practice for Anaheim. But now coming the other way. Up, oh, Tony Flo is going to pick up this puck. He dropped pass to Dial. Dip McButts. Talking about another great goal scorer that, that hasn't haven't seen score as many goals here on Thursday nights. It's, oh. Ho, ho. And it looks like that one hit the crossbar. They're trying to pad the lead a bit. But yeah, when you got a guy like Dick McButts on the ice, uh, a guy like KS Auto, these are people that can just turn it around very quickly. So that can just walk through an entire team and, and score kind of when they want to a lot of the times. So... We'll be looking at Dick McButts and, of course, BG has really stepped up his game since we first started seeing him on here. See the improvement season to season, and now he's right up there with anybody as far as making a difference in this game. They're only down a goal under a minute left in the first period. Well, now legendary Trev. Of course, Jabba. I mean, yeah, this is a... These are not... Names that that to be sniffed at, these battle tested and uh, campaign proven individuals right here. So with 24 seconds, they will try to make their move. But the puck will get away, and it will be Tony Flo, another player that we've uh, seen make leaps and bounds. Uh, directs things so well from the back for this team. Capital Skis gets a blade up on this to make the stop. And will they have a chance to shoot this before time runs out? No. It will go to the second period with this score. 2-1. to one. Anaheim with the current lead over Atlanta. It's a hell of a game. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, it, it <laughs> I'm just now seeing the chat. Okay. So, so Mark is formerly icy, and it is pronounced 
Shelf LA. Okay. I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna do it like that every time, even though it's tempting. Just add a big pasta. Shelf LA. Okay, shelf LA. Okay. <laughs> I know that a lot of these times these uh, guys are named after actual NHL guys that I should know how to pronounce their names, but yeah. I mean, Harry Carey fucking did Cubs games for most of his life, and he, he still struggled with people's names that he had uh, had to deal with a million times. But it's it's part of the charm. Just look at it that way. Stepping up to the plate is. Rodriguez. <laughs> holy cow. And holy cow, he almost takes his head off with a run on the goalie. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's... Uh... It's a good thing we don't have body collisions sometimes, but I, I think uh, they're they're looking to add it would definitely help with the goaltending. Being able to use the full body. There are some uh, some handmade changes to the game that are being made by the community. Oh, a nice move by Deloriax. He just ladles that one in. It just, just lifts it up. It's not even a not even a chip shot. Just enough to get over the stick. Finesse his way in three to one. Your score. It's, it's a night of dial. It's not the first. Certainly not the last. One of the great players of the game. But yeah, it definitely uh, puts this Atlanta team in a tight spot. Oh, <laughs> the jumping backhand shot. And we are seeing some razzle-dazzle this evening. Certainly, as here comes Jabba. Send this cross to BG. Puck moves into the corner. Two minutes left, second period. Tony Flo has the puck once again for Anaheim. Put this on. Here's Quacky Face. Looking for it. Big McButts trying to clear this out. Held in. Now chased into the opposite corner. Again, just fired in front of the net. Looking for the backhand. It is not there, but here's Tony Flo. And the deflection will send this puck back behind the net. Now again going for a wraparound attempt. Or at least trying to, to carom one off of the people in front. Glory X waiting for this to fall. I will pick it up. Back in the neutral zone, but nope, here comes Atlanta. The moves, the backhand. Oh, and it's almost on the line, but Dalfan clears it off. It took a weird direction and then another weird direction, and it looked like it was about to go over the line, but Dalfan just in time. To stop what surely would have been a goal. And so now I'll have to reload and try again. Circling. BGP has the puck. Dumps it in. His quacky face. To pick it up and start moving it for Anaheim. Yet again. As well. Shot blocked. And quacky face will let this go to Tony Flo. Put it back in play. Dial. Truly, the finals. Is it the finals? <laughs> it feels like it's the finals. It definitely has a has a finals like uh, urgency to it, especially from this Anaheim team. But yeah, we haven't even gotten to the playoffs. Playoffs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, let's, let's try not to get too far ahead of ourselves. <laughs> there we go. Like I said, we still got a few more weeks before we have to think about 
the finals. Truly, the finals. <laughs> But yeah, for really, as we were saying, uh, mentally speaking, for these teams, the finals uh, essentially begin now. Got to really get your head in it. And so Capital Skis, knowing this, has called a timeout for Atlanta. They will figure out what they're going to do. What do you think? Strategy? It's all about control of the neutral zone. Yeah, I, at I, this I, point, it is really hard to say, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, there's been a lot of kind of bypassing of the neutral zone in in this game because both these teams like to like to play it that way, uh, that that very uh, push forward type of style. You're, you're always sending somebody. So we're seeing a lot of two line passes and stuff, but yeah, it's a, it's a possession game when you get down to it. And yeah, I think we're gonna see the neutral zone become a more important part of the game as we come on here. This shot and score! Hop out the four door with a four four. It was one two three and four for Deloriax and four for Anaheim. Quick maths. They took a three goal lead here. And another almost. But Capital Skis is there. And so cleared away. This will go into the neutral zone. And a chance for Atlanta. The shot. The score. Jabba. Puts it up on the roof. Legendary Trev on the assist. And a great Jabba esque move to the net. And they keep it. Within two, that was a much needed goal for this Atlanta team. Not just on, on the scoreboard, but just kind of keep this thing from feeling like it's out of reach. Capital Skis quickly playing this back in. Already got people down here waiting for it. Dick McButts being one. He will pull this down into the corner. Now back to him. Fires it. It is blocked. So they try to gather up in a bunch there, but the puck will be sent back. And Capital Skis now playing it to Jabba. Plays it along BG. May have room to break past this. Oh, they're staying with him. He does get it towards the slot. Nobody there to pick that up. Put it away, however. And so now BG gathers it up in the corner again. Again, looks to the front. And again, they are there to block it. Here's the Dial. Legendary Trev, last line of defense. He gets him. And they're going to keep going with it. Maybe. And again, Stymied in the neutral zone. A chance here for Anaheim. Shot score. Wow. Monster eats image. Has made it 5 to 2. What a play. Wow, yeah. You see, you're right. So it's it's not sentient. It's better prognostication than a lot of people who claim to be sentient. It's all about the neutral zone. And then, guess what? Turnover in the neutral zone leads to a soul-crushing goal. Here's another quacky face! It's the assist from Deloriax. And Atlanta... They got that one, but Anaheim just keeps scoring at a feverish pace. So it's just getting hard to keep up with two minutes left and a four goal lead. Six to two, numbers on the board. So, where they go with this? Here's a good chance as it's slipped over to Jabba. He tries to get one going in the slot. They will block the shot that comes in from the point. And taken away off the stick again. And now here's Dial. Legendary Trev. Again, 
Being very alert, but Dahl got away from him. It's a breakaway. Shoots and scores. His fifth of the game. Wacky face with the assist. And it's a 7-2 game. So, my, that escalated quickly. This looked uh, pretty close. Man, it's just a plethora of goals from this Anaheim team. They're good at doing that. So now, under a minute, they have a five-goal lead. Now, here comes Atlanta. They'll at least try to put a couple more on the board, maybe. Something to build upon. But right, 36 seconds. So, yeah, they're starting to leave it in the Anaheim zone a little more. It's, it's not going to be enough, at least tonight. Oh, what a beautiful setup there. As I believe that was Quacky Face who hits, wow, Monster Eats Image. And that is ball game as they say in games that use a ball. Uh, it is uh, game over under the six goal deficit mercy rule of the LHL. So before regulation time, they finish this off. Big performance by Dial and, and the whole Anaheim team. Atlanta, some flashes of brilliance, but yeah, it's they just uh, ran into a team that was uh, looking very good here on a Thursday evening. So we're talking about Edmonton. Uh, they are currently in sixth place in the league, kind of surprisingly. So hey, meat cell. Uh -oh. oh, the game's starting. No, <laughs> you get five minutes. You gotta gather your people. So we will see Edmonton in in, uh, in performance here. As they are up against Kansas City. Real quick on the lineups. Huh? Let's see. Is this not oh, okay? No wonder. Back to our yeah. Here we go. So for Edmonton, it is Luchik, Hey Bert, Trev Crow, Kill Pestle, and I'm not Stamkos. That is your Edmonton team, and Kansas City. They are represented by. Who are they represented by? Marchie, Guy, Ice Chimp, Meat Cell, and Slim. They will be in blue. Now here they come. With uh, possession of the puck early on. They try to set up a play on offense here in front. It will be Luchik. Veteran goal scorer. I, I can just... Pretty much append the veteran goal score to to half the lineups we've seen tonight. I wouldn't be bullshitting you, but yeah, believe me, I ain't bullshitting you when I say that uh, Luchik is a veteran goal scorer. So there's Marchi. Was looking to set off a pass, but it will go back to Slim. I stick sends it into the corner. Here is Kilpassel with it. Oh, that takes a crazy bounce. It's up on the net. <laughs> now knocked off. And is that meat sale going through? Looking for the shot. Yes, goes wide. Now Marchie. Turn and backhand this one in with the wrister from the point. Kill Pestle. Looking for Luchik on the long pass. 
won't be able to pick it up initially, but he gets there on the follow-up. Now Trev Crow getting into the mix. Shot save made slim. The leaps to make this stop. Oh, yeah. It's still anybody's game. It's safe to say that was like two minutes in. But hey, I'm thrilled. We got three games going on tonight. Huh? Just like we promised. The six big teams and whatnot. Yeah. So thanks to all the teams for being here, for entertaining these hundreds of thousands of people that are watching right now and that we'll watch later on YouTube. Oh, and Meat Cell gently backhands that one in. Just a very light pimp slap on the puck to make it one to nothing. And Kansas City will take the lead. How about that? Now that is hockey question mark. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. So, a couple of minutes now, first period. That is the only goal so far. But as we said in that previous game, I don't think a one to nothing scoreline is going to be what we end up with. It tends to not be in, in this league. But yeah, definitely follow us on YouTube. And we haven't really been. Uh, I need to. Job is right. I need to tell people on the on the subreddit that the games are available on YouTube. But you know, by now we know the drill, right? The games are available on YouTube. I saw one of them had like one view. This season, it's like really one view. You know. These guys deserve better. I, I know a lot of people are they they watch on the Twitch vods. Uh, yeah. uh, this is some of the best esports that's really going on out there. It's in terms of skill level, in terms of intensity, excitement. See, look at that uh, big stop there. But yeah, th these guys uh, deserve a much greater audience. Uh, so hopefully. And keep grinding away and get that for them. They say it's consistency, right? Consistently casting this for five or six years, so one day it's all gonna pay off. Millionaires. Fourteen seconds left in the first period. As Slim Push this around to Marchi. He'll have time maybe for one shot here. He'll go ahead and take it, and it is swatted out of Mark. I'm mixing sports metaphors left and right here as the first period ends. And Kansas City leads Edmonton 1 0. But yeah, still pretty wide open. And time for Edmonton to try to get their game moving a little bit and indeed their season moving a little bit. Be a good opportunity to, to start that run. We've seen teams do it. We've seen teams that looked a little shaky at the beginning of the season and then, you know, they make a trade or two or, or they don't or they just kind of kind of get that resolved to say no we're not going to let it happen this way and they tighten things down they make a good run and get a playoff spot oh and how did that not go a couple of chances for that to go across the line and it did not but hey Bert standing tall either way it's not making mistakes yeah, just that rolled on the line, but not over the line. It was about as close as you can get. 
something we we say often but i think that one is as close as as close as you can get can get if you know what i'm saying i hope you do because i'm not sure i do okay here is luchik and he will race with ice chimp for this ice chimp gets it and looking for a guy who spins around and gets in position dumps it in here they go moving. It is Edmonton. Again, they're looking for those long passes, and there's too many bodies in between. Just taking care of these as quickly as they see them. So, yeah, it's. They're going to have to escort this puck a little closely, I think, to break through these defenses a little more closely than they are now. Lob passes from the back. These guys are too alert to that by now. See it right there, kill Pestle. So now here's Marchi. He's got room to operate with two and a half minutes left in the second period, which means we're about halfway through regulation of this game. He just slides one across beautifully and guy top shelf where Mama keeps the cookies. Marchi, guy. Two to nothing. Kansas City with the lead. My goodness. Hockey question mark you all. Absolutely. And so that takes us to the two minute mark and Guy still back there putting pressure on. This shot will go just shy of the crease. Back to Guy. We'll get it to Marchie again. A blocked shot and possibly a chance. No, they will chase this down. Ice Chimp. Good positioning to get to this puck first. Now Guy. Cross to Marchie. Beautifully done on the pass and he moves it through. Shoots and scores. And that was, uh, was kind of like that women's hockey in the Olympics. Shootout. Girl scored for the United States to win it. One extra little deke. Results in a goal. And so now we have a timeout. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's some talk more about the the lag issue. And see guys, you know, we we've talked about this so much. I it's really hard to diagnose these kinds of issues. For one thing, they're sporadic, so you don't really. And everything we can do on the player's end, we, we've pretty much tried. So talking to Cryptic C, I know that the game doesn't have any sort of, uh, like, interpolation or anything like that, you know to compensate for the lag you see what you get so yeah it's going to be more apparent when it's when it ain't good and there's so much that can happen between your computer playing the game and the server hosting the game and indeed all the other players playing the game and with that so much can go wrong I, you know the more I know about networking and the internet, the more I'm amazed that this shit even works at all. Uh, so, but it works well enough for us to bring you hockey here on Thursday night, and it's been all Kansas City so far in this third and final game of the evening, our nightcap. So they are just, uh, doing a good job against Edmonton and making the most of the shots they've had. Edmonton gonna have to hope to see a little bit more desperation in their play. I mean, the time is ticking on the season. There's a lot of these kind of games like this where going for points at the end of the season. You look back and say, man, we could have won one or two more. 
So you don't want to add to those one or two more unless you really have to. And this one blocked to end the second. So that's the Edmonton team. We'll have to come back from being down by three to do the thing tonight against KC. And to their credit, Kansas City has uh, looked very good. Not that Edmonton's playing uh, terribly, it's that Kansas City is playing quite well. A chance coming across. Just a feed it into the slot. Guy waiting there. And again. And it's just across and not through. It's working on a different axis there. But now Marchi will await this puck. He gets it. Look for Meat Cell who just waits for it. <laughs> I think he was hoping to tip it in, but it just really it kind of died in midair before it got there. So. I see what he was going for. Very creative. But yeah, the physics of the game. Like, like, look at that. <laughs> it's kind of hops off the ice and then just takes off. I mean, you just never really know. Cause, but that's part of the fun of the game. It has real physics. It's a hallmark of what Cryptic C does. Real thrilled to be working with them. On other projects too. Is uh, I don't know. He, he's taken a lot of grief from the community over the years, but you know what? How many times have you seen people say, "Oh yeah, I'm going to make a better hockey game." Oh, that, that's in. I'm not Stamkos. With Luchik on the assist, I'm not sure if those are the actual. I think it was Stamkos on the shot, though. And so, Edmonton. Back in this now. We have broken the scorelessness and made it 3-1. to one. Could this be the start of the comeback? Again, they're just trying to look for Luchik way, way down the ice. and You're going to need some support in between to... Get those passes going. Oh, this one poked away. Now here is Stamkos. Bounces over the stick of Killpestle. Ajit Lor will come out to play this. We'll see where they go with it. But yeah, we, we, we've seen all these guys go, oh yeah, I'm going to make my own hockey game with Blackjack. And Hook. It's going to be Totally better than Hockey Question Mark. I've seen at least, uh, what, three or four projects like this in the time I've been casting. None have come to fruition. Now, you know, I can't rule anything out. You never know. But I, I think that tells you something right there. The, the, the game that Alex and Luke just kind of half-assed made one weekend goofing around has... Uh, has stood the test of time. And also, I will tell you this, talking to Alex and Luke, they're not done with the game. And it's kind of crunch time now for Sub Rosa and some of their other stuff, but they're not done with hockey. In fact, they are planning a hockey jam. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but there is talk of kind of looking back and... and Fixing some things in 55, which was not even on the on on the plate before. That, that was not even before. It was like, well, now nah, it's making changes. It's going to be the new branch only, the 62 and up. But I don't know. The community has supported this version for so long, and going to look at ways that they can address some of the issues that people have without breaking everything all together. It's, it's, it's not off the table. 
So there, there's you some big fucking news. Huh? People watching. Uh, now I can't give you a time frame on that. But... And Edmondson, yeah, they, they've, while well, we've been talking about this, they've been making some good runs at the net, but it's nothing hitting home. And so it's, uh, put it in stone. Maybe, oh, ew, and this one gets loose and Slim will take it. And the GG's come out, put it in stone. Kansas City will take the win over Edmonton. Coming up a little bigger at the end, but not enough to get the goals they needed. Overcome up sporting Kansas City. But good games tonight. We saw some fantastic games tonight. I, hell, this is the first time in a while that we had all the games on the schedule uh, to bring to you. So. That, that was fun. It's always good to have a a good, solid lineup. And I see uh, we, we got a few viewers, so that's cool. Thank you, guys. So we're, we're trying to grow the channel again. We've done a, we make stabs at it, attempts at it over the years. And, but right now, we're in a good spot to to do just that. So do some IRL stream. Uh, play some other games and to just do some talk show type of stuff or it's just you and me talking had many requests for that so yeah just go to IRL on Twitch and scroll to the very bottom where nobody's watching past all the titty streamers and foreign language streamers and so forth and, and, and I'll just be talking about stuff you've got uh, questions, advice, things you want to know about, things like that. I'll be with them. Or just talk about you know, sports or esports or just life. There, there's so much to talk about. What a world we live in. So, uh, in esports, they knew me as the king of stall. They still do, you know, or it's like, got to. Uh, they're sitting there trying to get the computers to work and you see three guys just kind of shaking their heads and shrugging and then they look at you and do the, you know, the, the thing with their, you know, twirling their finger like, yeah, keep it going, man, keep it going. Yeah. Until we figure this out. So that that's why they like to have me on the mic. So also talk about, you know, sponsors and all that shit. We don't have any sponsors. You learn the art of uh, talking extemporaneously about whatever and for an introvert I, uh, I learned it best I could so yeah. why not relax to the to the sound of the voice read to you like reading Dune it's going to be either Dune or, or Art of the Deal as far as the reading so We'll leave it to the people to decide on that. But anyway, uh, the players have decided the outcomes of this these three games tonight, and so we are done here as far as hockey is concerned. We want to tell you to stay with us here on IBN. Follow us on the on the channel if you have not already. We need all the followers we can get. You know, tell your friends, wake the neighbors. Uh, there's a donate button now if you want to donate. We any donations that get thrown our way it looks like it might be moving soon so uh, yeah, personal note any donations are greatly appreciated of course they go to keeping these streams going and uh, also of course we got the patreon don't shield for that enough do I yes it's at the bottom of the screen patreon.com slash winners with a one and uh, all our social media stuff, IBN Ayla at Twitter, Winners of the One at Twitter, IBN Casting at Twitter, IBN Casting on YouTube. Definitely want to check that out because all these games are part of history. Fan. And there's going to be a time when you want to look back on that history. Just uh, kind of bask in that history. And so it's fun to be part of history and to have brought you all these games and they're all up there on YouTube and you can watch them you can watch them in order 
So we thank you guys so much for, for this week, for every week, for just the chance to keep casting this game. It's, there, there truly is no other game like it. It's, that's the bottom line, isn't it? And so sh thanks to Cryptic C for, for making it and for, for putting us on. Maybe even putting food on the table, which is a, oh man. Uh, that's some life-changing shit right there, y'all. But uh, we'll tell you more about it. We'll be uh, talking. Winners is talking here on IBM. Hope that you'll join us for that. Hope you'll join us for playing uh, Sword Art and Beach Beach Splash and whatever other weeb games we have. We have plenty. I, I'm uh, Mostly what I'm playing nowadays, I, I have to confess, is just weeb shit. JRPGs. Dumb shit with cute girls, you know, uh, while Western civilization destroys itself, we're just going to sit back with cute anime girls and uh, let it burn. What else can you do? But, uh, we're just hiding in the bunker here. <laughs> with, with, our, with our anime titties. But anyway, we, we uh, I think we're going to do that right now. Some anime titties and, and a good meal. Sounds like a wonderful way to cap off this evening. So from all of us at the Independent Broadcast Network, on behalf of myself, Winners of the One, Abby and Ayla, and all the crew, past and present, we're, we're reaching out to a lot of the fans, by the way. And we used to have shitloads of casters on here. I still keep in touch with people. And then we'll bring some of those people back. Some things. Stay tuned. Uh, shit's going to be happening. It's going to be popping. I always say, oh, yeah, yeah, big things are coming. But this time, for realsies, big things are coming. We'll see you next time those big things come in, if not before. Good night. See ya.